this is Retro here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to bring out another plugin tutorial, and today I'm going to bring out a plugin tutorial on the plugin Group Manager. Now, um, if you are a long-time subscriber, you would know that I've done this plugin tutorial before, but um, I'm going to be doing it again because, um, actually, it was really unclear because I was having the mic and video problems back then with my, um, videos and stuff and so it was very like scratchy and like my voice was laggy it was just all messed up so i'm gonna be redoing it and i also know a few more commands will go a lot more uh, clear hopefully i can get it across easier than it was in that video and so yeah now let's get started so the first thing you're going to do is just do slash mang add and that's the command uh to create a group so if i did uh slash mang add let's just say tutorial spelled that wrong tutorial oh my goodness my typing i don't know why i just exit okay one sec let's do this again slash mang tutorial there we go <laughs> sorry about that okay now i'm gonna add a variable or a prefix rather if y'all don't know what that is it's pretty much let's just say and six which is like a, a orange and then actually let's go and seven and then and um let's go three that's a dark blue and then and seven pretty much what this is is going to be a prefix and it just looks like that <clears throat> looks kind of weird but it's fine i like it um, with brighter colors, so just for that, I'll do that, why not? Okay, and now to add this variable, we're gonna do slash main, I, before, I would do it beforehand, it's easier, just, like, uh, create it, and then copy and paste it, because it's a lot easier, now, at least in my opinion, and so uh, now we're gonna do slash main add v, which is manage group add variable, you don't need to know that, but it's good to know, I guess, so, just do slash main add v and then do the group name so tutorial and then prefix and then paste that now i'm going to add myself to that group using slash menu add which is manage um user add and then my name oh oops let's go back here and then do tutorial now if i say test there you go i have that um prefix now and so if you want to that's pretty much just a basic way of setting up the rank like the prefix and stuff and you could also add in here um, what's it called permissions to the rank so let's see i would de-op myself there we go okay now if i say et i guess okay whatever menu add oh gosh i have no commands now do i Okay, one sec, let me check this. If not, I'll go out myself one second. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so if I were to do slash ming add p. Yeah, I'm not allowed to. So, um, I'll be right back whenever I out myself again. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I, I was just being stupid and I didn't realize I wouldn't have permission to do that. So, um, pretty much what I'm gonna do now is let's do slash main add p. This is what it's going to do is add the permissions. You could actually add permissions in game, which is very good. I prefer to avoid config as much as possible. At least I used to. Now I don't really bother or I don't mind it, but it's whatever you like. You could do it in game, so I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that. Then enter in the group name as this is here. And let's say I have to do essentials dot fly. I believe that's the command for fly. And so now I'm gonna de up myself. And if it's not, let me do this game mode zero. I don't have access, but I do have access to fly. See, like now I could fly around, do whatever I want. These are this is my plot world, by the way. Don't know if I said that already, but is that a spider jockey? Oh no. But as you see, I could fly, and so that's pretty cool. You could add permissions and stuff. I hate those. Let's go into the retro shed. Alright, and so I'm going to be teaching you how to add an inheritance whenever I help myself again. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So pretty much what it is, is you're going to do slash mang add i. And then if you press enter, you just do it from group 1 to group 2. So if I were to say from owner to tutorial. Group owner already here. So oh, oops. Tutorial to owner owner. I was going to do it both ways. Now if I were to de -op myself. Okay. D. I'm still in the group of tutorial. 
but I could still do slash GM1 because now I have the inheritance from um, from the owner rank so pretty much you could use this for like prison tutorials if I was oh hey you better back up for prison tutorials um, I meant for prison servers and stuff like that to get like from rank A and put all the permissions from rank A or, or commands from rank A to rank B so it's pretty simple and so yeah that's pretty much all I got for this tutorial sorry it was so like weird and just uh, messy as I said I would try it not to be but it pretty much was it wasn't that bad but Hopefully I got it more clear across in my last video. And so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. If you are new, hit that subscribe button for some more content. I post every three days. Sorry I did not post yesterday. Three days or before three days. But um sorry I did not post yesterday. The only reason was um it was uh, 4th of July in the United States, which is where I live. And so we were out popping fireworks. And so yeah. So sorry about that. Um, but let me know if you have any suggestions for next or the next video or new videos because I am running low. But um, besides that, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.